everyone my name is sonia today i have come with another interesting topic and the name of that topic is how to go to canada although there are many ways to immigrate to canada i am going to tell you about one uh, way which is very interesting and very efficient uh, i have decided to make a series of videos on this topic because there is not the only way which i am going to tell you there are many other ways also but i have selected this way because this way has many advantages the name of this way is known as express entry express entry system was initiated by government of canada in the year 2015 from the year 2015 till today in canada many people have been immigrated there are millions of the people who have been received invitation to apply to go to canada why i choose this one because uh, my objective is mainly to uh, promote you, promote you to the way by which you can easily and you can cheaply go to canada if you are uh, i have been accepted in express entry pool in express entry profile then when uh, you will get a permanent residency and when you will reach to canada you are going to uh, enjoy all the benefits which uh, citizens of canada gets except few ones there are uh, some things which you will not uh, you are not going to get but as a permanent residence when you will stay in canada for a few years then you can apply for canadian citizenship also so one advantage of going on permanent residency is that you can work anywhere you can work with any employer you can uh, canada is very big there are different provinces you can go anywhere you can find jobs and you can uh, earn a lot of money another good advantage of this is that you can study at the nominal cost because uh, as a permanent residence you are eligible to get all the benefits uh, you will be treated as a citizen of canada except some rights as i told you before also so you can study in very nominal cost so what is express entry profile uh, in express entry has been divided into two parts uh, express entry is very very transparent systems canadian government has made some criteria uh these criteria are uh, made uh, based on your age your qualifications your spouse qualifications <coughs> your english scores etc etc so on if there are different factors on which you earn some points and if your points are a certain uh, are above a certain threshold then you can get invitation to apply invitation to apply means that now you you have shown us that you are eligible and now submit all the documents so before uh, getting invitation to apply the first stage which we do is to make express entry profile to show our expression of interest and in expression of interest you can know uh, you show to government that you have so many competencies you have so many work experience you have your spouse your spouse is also very qualified and you show them that yes i have these points so uh, generally if you uh, show to government by submitting your expression of interest uh after uh, and your points are above a certain threshold uh, then you can get invitation to apply applying for uh, expression of interest is totally free of cost you don't have to pay anything but before that uh, before uh, showing your interest you have to prepare in two ways first way is to to, uh, to do education credential assessment what is this in this we show that our qualification our degree which have achieved in our country is equivalent to a particular degree in canada sometimes it happens that you have done 4 years of degree and it is equivalent to a masters degree in canada and sometimes it also happens that you have done masters in your country and it is equivalent to bachelor degree in canada so it depends upon uh, different uh, institutions uh, type of syllabus type of uh, uh, ranking of universities and many other factors so to do education credential assessments you have to contact with uh, canadian uh, organizations there are many organization one of them is wes world uh, education services canada i uh, i will tell you detail procedure in my for the videos so once you do your eca you do this eca for your spouse also if you are going to claim points for your spouse eca is must for both of them and suppose you are uh, you have decided that you are not going to do assessments for your spouse in that case you cannot claim points so first step is that you do a eca it took generally 2 to 3 months and sometimes 4 months also this process is a bit lengthy so you should start second thing which you have to prepare with yourself is ielts or self pep score 
these two exams are english exams and canada give a lot of points on english exams if your english is good then you are going to uh, achieve more than 100 points only based on english score so you can do these two things in parallel and uh, generally if you will prepare yourself for english then it will also to, uh, going to take one to two months then you can write exams and then you can go to schools i'm going to tell you every uh, how much uh, uh, scores you need everything etc uh, now before that uh, i'm going to uh, give you one very important information you know in 2020 canada has planned to immigrate 3.4 lakhs people in in their country based on express entry systems so uh, uh, when i'm going to tell you that how to check your marks how to check your points if after checking that points if you are thinking that you are above a certain threshold you start immediately 2020 and 2021 is very very prosperous year because in 2020 canada has planned 3.4 lakhs people uh, for immigrations and in 2021 they have increased this quota to 3.5 lakhs you know how much opportunity you have at this time so that is why i i, uh, I decided to make this uh, video uh, uh, this point and this type first time so that you can take advantages of this so not now what we will do uh, i am going to show you that how you can check your points the uh, the checking of these points are known as crs uh, comprehensive ranking systems and i will show you that how you can check uh, all these points and uh, i one more information that recently in february uh, canada has uh, opened one draw and based on that draw the threshold was 471 marks so what i mean to say that uh, you check uh, your points with me uh, i am showing uh, i am going to show you and if your points are above 440 or 450 you you start immediately because every year uh, in in year after every 15 days canada do this draw and uh, points varies so uh, as per my experience if you have more than 440 then you can uh, and any draw you can get your uh, invitation to apply this it is free of course again i'm saying to make profile on uh, canadian government website is totally free you don't need to pay anything only you have to say to them that this is your qualifications but be prepared start to collect all documents uh, once you know that you are eligible and you can go to canada because document collection also take time and when you will receive invitation to apply you will be given two to three months to submit all the documents so uh, at that time you will not have time to apply for birth certificate uh, apply for passport apply for uh, uh, your eca etc etc so uh, what you do you collect all documents but before that first step is that you do eca do ielts and when you are prepared with these two documents then you make immediately profile making profile doesn't take more time so let's check together if you are eligible uh, for to go to canada under uh, under express entry systems come with me open this google uh, account you say in google you type crs point calculator crs is comprehensive ranking system which is a, a ranking scheme used by government of canada this is cic.gc.ca is official website i will always suggest that you always follow official website because it will give you correct information you have to click on this and now you can come down At last, you have to start with your matrix status because this status is very important to calculate points. If you are single, then you are going to get more points than if you are married. But in case you are single, you are not eligible for spouse points. So overall, it's approximate same. So let's get started. In in matrix status, suppose I will say uh, that uh, person is married. Then it will ask if your spouse or common law partner is a citizen or permanent resident of Canada. If you will say yes, then it will not go forward because these are this express entry is not for such people. So it will be no. 
and at last you have to say if your partner is going to come with you so obviously you will always uh, go with your partner so it's yes so this is most important how old are you this is the point where you cannot change anything you have to say or oh, what you are and if you are less than or near to 28 then you are going to get very high point and after that there are less points so if you are less than 30 and you are having master's degree and you oh, you are having one or two years of experience then i will suggest that you should apply immediately because the permanent residency uh, application process took approximate one year and in that time you are going to get more age so check let's check uh, I suppose I will say 28 years and then your level of education you will get highest points uh, for doctorate degree or masters and then two certificates two or more certificates it means that suppose you have done uh, uh, first diploma and then you have done degree this is uh, and you have two two certificates and one should be at least three years or more so in that case you will get more points so i can uh, i'm going to select masters if you have qualification from canada you can earn more points so uh, uh, in that case i will say no because i am assuming that you are in india and you are planning to go to canada so i will say no i don't have any Canadian degree or diploma then official language you have option uh, you have to give this exam you have uh, option to take two exams that is known as CELPIP and IELTS at this time I will say yes and I will select IELTS TEF Canada and TCF Canada is for French language exam and for English language it's IELTS and CELPIP so i will select ielts and you have to now enter your scores you know your level uh, and if you are an uh, average one uh, in english so uh, i'm sure uh, in ielts general you are going to get at least seven in speaking at least seven in uh, listening at least seven in reading and at least seven in writing I am assuming that you don't know French, so I will select. You don't have any other uh, language test. And then be careful. In the last 10 years, how many years of skill experience in Canada do you have? So it is asking Canadian experience. And if you have Canadian experience of at least one year, then only you can choose this option. Otherwise, if you have less than one year of experience, you are not eligible for this. So I will say none or less than one year. And uh, uh, I want to tell you that this point is very important because it, it's going to give you a very high point if you have Canadian experience of one or more year. This is your experience in your country. So in the last 10 years, how many years of experience you have? Uh, for instance, I will say three years. And this is the maximum one. Even if you have 10 years of experience, you cannot claim points for that. You have to uh, stay with the three years or more only. And seventh, do you have certification of qualification from Canadian province, territory or federal body? It is not applicable for engineers or doctors, etc. It is applicable uh, especially for some uh, uh, technical thing technical type of professions uh, which is equivalent to iti in our country and uh, for that professions must be uh, first uh, evaluated by Ca canadian uh, territory and it's a lengthy process but if you have the certification you are going to get very good points but at this time i will say that no i don't have then these are last some questions do you have valid job offer obviously most of the time people don't, don't have a, a valid job offer and nomination certificate no 
because you have if you have nomination certificate it's a it's a it is going to give you very high points at this time i am assuming that you don't have nomination certificate now you will come to spouse or common law partner have at, at least one brother or sister because if you have your family members in canada you will get additional points for them here i am going to select no but you if you have select yes and now you will claim for uh, points for your spouse so what is highest education in your spouse for instance it's a bachelor degree and the same in Canada, if your spouse have work experience, you will say yes or no based on your situation. I, I suggest that your spouse should always give English test because it is going to boost your score. And now you will have to enter the score. I will assume that uh, your spouse are less than average or average. It, it's up to you. You have, if it's average, you can select seven. And if it's, uh, and if you have actual scores, then you can write actual scores. It will give you more uh, ideas. At last, you will uh, click on calculate your scores. And now you will check your results. See, this, your score is 405. Generally, if you will see uh, cutoff marks for uh, CRS, it's, uh, it's uh, more than 440 and 450 or 450 so uh, you but if you ha are uh, having points more than 400 it's very good for you because there are more chances that you will get pnp nominations but there is one magic i will show you you don't change anything you only change one factor your ielts score this one speaking seven keep listening eight Reading seven, writing seven, no problem. But you put eight in listening. And then you again click on calculate your score. And this is magic. Oh my God. Now I have 468. It means that on the next day, uh, on, on the next draw, you are going to get invitation to apply for permanent residency. So, by this, what I mean to uh, show you that if you have as a score of uh, six, uh, seven, 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 eight, eight should be in listening. In that case, you are going to get very high score. And this is equivalent to suppose you are suppose you are in uh, you have already work experience in Canada. So now I will say that in Canada I have one year of work experience and I have set my IELTS score again in, on the average. And now I will again go and check calculate my score. And this is my score. C 490. It means that experience in Canada is very valuable. And if you have any of your spouse have, suppose you or your wife, you or your husband, anyone of you have Canadian experience, you should make them prime applicant. Okay, now you have checked uh, that what is your uh, CRS score. You have simulated all the situations. So now I will suggest that if you are thinking that your marks is more than 440, then do start start the process immediately. And uh, I, I wish you uh, very good luck so that uh, I can uh, I can uh, see you in Canada after one year. I'm sure you can do it. I'm sure you can uh, uh, do some modifications in uh, extra century uh, CRS points, for instance. You can make your uh, spouse uh, as a prime applicant. You can be uh, your uh, uh, her uh, dependent applicant. It doesn't matter because when you will receive invitation to apply, your whole family is going. It will be eligible to work there. So don't worry. It is not like that. That you will be prime applicant. Then only you can work. No, you and your spouse both can work. So simulate points in opposite way also and see that in which case you are going to make uh, maximum points and uh, make them an a prime applicant. So we start the process now.
because time is moving very fast. Wish you very good luck. Stay with me. Let's see you in next video. Bye.